Okay, so since I can't really go live in the event from my computer and now I'm home, I figured I'll make this video. Hopefully it uploads quick enough. Um, shaving. The best way to get a really good close shave. Exfoliate first. You want to soak the areas to be shaved in warm water to soften up the hair. Then you want to use a really good hydrating exfoliation. Then use your shaving cream, shaving lotion, coconut oil, whatever it is that you use to shave, and shave. The exfoliation, I don't know exactly what it does, if it helps prepare the hair, but when you shave like that, you get the best, closest, smoothest shave that you will ever experience, and your skin is so soft. It's amazing. I use any of my posh body scrubs or um, snarky bars. Um, sometimes the snarky bars combined with uh, coconut oil, if I use that to shave, is a little too much for my razor. It can clog it up because the snarky bars have shea butter in them. But if you're not using um, anything like that, just like a shave cream or a shave gel, um, the snarky bars are great for pre-shave. Um, if you tan, exfoliate before you tan. I know it's coming up on that season, ladies. Um, and we all know that before you spray tan, you got to exfoliate the day before. Um, it is good to exfoliate before you tan, period. So that way your lotions and everything goes on with a smooth application. And, um, you know, you've got to exfoliate real good before you go in for a spray tan so you don't end up spotty and stuff. Um, our snarky bars are the best things in the world to use the night before a spray tan. Uh, you could really use any of our um, body scrubs, but the Snarky Bars have been noted by self-tanners to be the best to use. I have self-tanned a couple of times only for uh, fundraising um, because I just don't like the way I look with a tan. But I do it for fundraisers and um, the first one that I ever did was horrible because I didn't realize that I needed to exfoliate and prep the skin. The place was really sweet and put me in the hydration beds and helped me get the spray tan off and then redone the spray tan and it turned out okay. But uh, yeah, since then when I, when I go to do the one for the fundraisers, I always use one of our body scrubs or snarky bars before I go in and I get the most beautiful even spray tan. And I have self tanning stuff at home that I got from Unique. Um, I exfoliate with uh, Posh products the day before that I use those. And uh, it turns out beautiful as well. And I've, like, perfected how to tan myself at home using a buffer. And if you get your stuff from uh, Unique, your self-tanning stuff from Unique, um, I can show you how to do it. But Acti Labs has a firming tanning lotion. And if you're interested in it, let me know because I will get you the info on it. If you want to try the unique system, which um, it's had mixed reviews from people. Um, I like it, but um, I didn't get as much color from it as I would have thought. Uh, but I do like the bronzing lotion and it's not like a spray tan. It's something that you wash off at the end of the day. I like to use it on my face um, or like on my arms to cover um, scars or whatever um, but as far as an actual self tan I like Unique and I've perfected how to use their products so it doesn't streak but um, uh, I like the Acti Labs uh, tanning the firming tanning but no matter which I use I always use a posh scrub or snarky bar the night before so our scrubs and snarky bars are good for shaving and self tans. Ladies, it's getting that time. Stock up on them. I promise you will thank me if you follow what I'm telling you.